Hey guys, it's Richie from Fred Junkies and we are back. Um, it's a miserable day here in the UK. Uh, it's currently January and we are in lockdown number three. And um, morale is, <laughs> is fading. Um, but I won't let anything keep me down, you know. I'm keeping inspiration going. Um, which made me think, you know, turning things on his head. You know, as a guitarist, what a great opportunity to learn more, you know, uh, with all this extra time that we got. So, you know, I've been putting a lot of hours in, trying to increase my craft and become better at the stuff I know and learn more, um, which made me think that this it could be a great way to kind of sh start sharing quick fire licks, uh, quick fire videos rather, just licks, just throw some licks out there, you know, and if it can keep you guys in inspired to pick up the guitar and, you know, and we all kind of get a lift out of something, that's, that's really cool. So I'm just going to start throwing out like free lesson Fridays, but it might be on a Monday, it might be whatever day I can do it. And they're going to be quick fire licks um, and I'm going to try and keep them fresh, inspiring, different than the usual ones. Um, and yeah, just just trying to share some stoke, you know, keep us keeping us all going. January is a tough month. It's usually miserable like it is. Um, we're kind of being, you know, squeezed on at the minute. But, you know, the beauty of music, is that it doesn't matter. You can just still play. We can pick up and play. It's very lucky, you know, if you're a golfer or anything at the minute, you can't go out and play. You can go and walk on a course, but you can't go and play. Um, a guitarist, we're always going to be able to go and grab our guitar. So I'm going to do less of this and we're going to get straight into the lesson. This is Richie from Fred Junkies. Thanks for being here. If you're new here, uh, if you could hit the subscribe, it's going to, you know, it'll, it'll obviously notify you when these videos come and there's plenty to look back through in the catalogue. Um, so yeah, Richie from Fred Junkies. Thanks for being here. See you in a bit. Peace. Okay guys, um, so this uh, lick is going to be uh, kind of inspired by um, like a southern rock kind of feel. It's going to be major, There's gonna we're going to go into it major, we're going to come out minor, okay? Um, these videos are not going to go too much into the theory. If we want to look at theory, um, that could be something we'll look at further, or if not, you can always um, book in some time. I'll leave my de details below, shameless plug, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one lessons, obviously uh, follow the link below and you will be able to reach me if you want to do um, some lessons. So the theory, like, like I said, I'm not going to go into, but in a nutshell, it's in major, going in major and coming out minor. And the lick is something like this. I'll play it through slow and then we'll break it down in G. Okay, one more time. It is worth noting as well. <laughs> the, the way I come out of it will probably change each time, okay? The, the way you go into it is kind of important in this lick. Okay, so let's get stuck in. We're gonna begin on the A string on the 10th fret and we're gonna hammer on to the 12, slide to the 14. You can actually pick that 12th fret, it doesn't really matter. And then we're gonna catch 12 and 12 on the D and G. So we've got this so far. And then all we're gonna do that is we're gonna octave it. We're gonna carry on. Okay, so we're gonna go 12, 14, 16, and on the B string we're gonna go 15, and on the E string we're gonna go 15, and then we're catching the G where this is coming from, okay? So slowly. I mean, that's pretty cool in itself, you know, loads of scope with that to come back out. Okay. The fingering takes a little while to get used to, um, but, you know, practice it and kind of, you might find an easier way than I can. Uh, so we've got this so far. Then from the G there, we're going to go up to the 17 on the E. Okay. 
And then we're gonna slide in from the 13 to the 14 on the E string. Sorry. Sounds a bit alien on his own, but in context it works, okay? So here we go. Okay, then we're gonna catch the 15 on the B. Okay. Ah, sorry, excuse me. And then we're gonna just basically play for a D chord, okay? Uh, sometimes when I'm breaking these down slow, <laughs> it takes me a while to catch up with my brain. Uh, so, then 15, and on the, on the G string, we're gonna go 14. So we've got... So that second part, the lick, Okay, and then from there, the last part, we're gonna go, or the last part, the major, we're gonna go slide from the 15 to the 17 on the B. And now there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can either just hammer on to the, what would be the 18th, back and release to the 15 for, it really does depend how you want to do that, okay? It's just like a, uh, a little accent, so. That's probably the prettiest way to do it. It's not even up to the fret. Okay, so it's, like a, it's more like a wobble. It's kind of like a microtonal. So we're gonna go 17. You're kind of almost implying 18, but you're kind of not 17, then back to 15, okay? So we've got so far. And then this, we're gonna go straight minor now and come down the minor pentatonic scale, okay? And it's something like this. So just a bend to signify the G. And then, uh... So we're going, 15, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, 18 bent to 20. Catching 15 on the, on the E and the B. Okay, so. Catching back on the, on the 18. And we're gonna keep it simple, okay? You can you can kind of come out of this. You guys know your pentatonic. You're just gonna you're looking for a way to walk up, kind of classy. And like I said, I do change it every time I'm playing. Um, when I try and knuckle down on what I exactly play, I often make mistakes. So I'm just giving you bare bones, okay? Uh, take it, run with it, make your own. So uh, just come back out of it in pentatonic, basically. <laughs> okay. Then we're gonna go on the G string. We're gonna go 18 to 17 to 15. Catch the 17th on the D string, which is the G. So that would be a nice and simple way, right? And then just walk down. Okay, so slowly. And yeah, I did play it really different then. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can kind of see where I'm going with this, okay? The, the, I, I like to kind of think of it like you're going into it happy. You're all kind of jolly, right? You're walking into this lick all really happy, then all of a sudden something pisses you off and you come out angry, you know? Uh, and that's the beauty between mixing major and minor is the, 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 the mood is often only ever a fret away. <laughs> And, and, and of course, you can kind of move that around. You can superimpose it or, you know, put it wherever you want it. It'd work in the E, work, whatever you want to do with it. You know, the G, it falls really nice in G for me, personally. And then, and, 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 you know, from there, explore. Go, well, why not just drop back into the, into the major pentatonic? One, two, three, major pentatonic from G. OK, 
Okay, so a little bit of a scrappy demo. I'm not going to worry too much about producing these and hundreds of takes. This is one take off the belt. I'm going to keep them quick, and that's going to keep me inspired and fresh. Um, this one is in the style of Southern Rock, kind of Marcus King um, style, and uh, I think it's really cool. It can be used over a lot of different ways in a lot of different places. And, and it's a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, if you get this down, let me know in the comments below if there's any stars you want to look at. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep these coming once or twice a week this quick every time, okay? Uh, this has been Richie from Fret Junkies. I really appreciate you guys uh, who have been here. And if you stayed to the end, thank you even more. All right, see you guys soon. Peace.